Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The quick reaction surface to air missile QRSAM is the last point of multi-layered defense system against aerial target which makes it extremely critical defense system. This missile is being developed by DRDO in association with BEL and Bharat Dynamics Private Limited for Indian Army. QRSAM is being developed to protect the mobile armored columns from any aerial attack. The system has capability of surveillance and tracking on the move, firing on short halts. The QRSA missile has intercept envelope up to 30 km in range, 10 km in altitude and 360 degree in azimuth. The latest DRD brochure reveals the altitude envelope of QRSAM to be 14 km, which is significant from the earlier reported 10 km envelope. The active phased array surveillance radar of QRSAM provides surveillance up to 120 km for 2 m square RCS target and tracking radar up to 80 km for 2 m square RCS target with IFF. IFF is identification of friend and foe system. The QRSAM missile is a state-of-art missile with RF seeker and the communication between radar and missile happens via two-way data link. It has automated command, control and communication post at firing unit level to carry out the battlefield management. The system is capable of engaging multiple elite targets such as aircraft, hovering helicopters, UAV etc and has all-weather operational capability. The QRSAM system is configured on high mobility vehicle for mobility in cross-country terrains like plains, semi-deserts and deserts. Now let's try to understand the QRSAM weapon system configuration. A QRSAM weapon system consists of one regiment command post vehicle RCPV which acts as a central system. The RCPV is then connected with three battery units via satellite on the move. Each battery unit consists of a battery command post vehicle which is connected to a battery surveillance radar vehicle and four combat groups via radio on the move. Now each combat group consists of BMFR that is battery multifunctional radar and missile launch vehicle. On 8th September 2022, DRDO and Indian Army have successfully completed six back-to-back -back flight tests of QR-SAM from ITR Chandipur. The flight tests have been conducted as a part of evaluation trials by Army. The weapon system performance was evaluated under day and night both conditions and it demonstrated its capability successfully. Now, DRDO has also displayed a model of QR-SAM in the 108th Indian Science Congress which was held in Nagpur between 3rd to 7th of January. Talking to Hitwad, a senior technical officer of DRDO had said that the missile system has completed all trials and the production is likely to start within 6 months after getting green signal from Ministry of Defence. He also said that it is one of the most advanced quick reaction surface to a missile system in the world. Now recently, Jains has also published a report that Indian Army has ordered five QR-SAM weapon system to be manufactured by BEL, that is Bharat Electronics Limited. The company will deliver all five weapon systems to Indian Army by the year 2024. There were multiple issues reported by ET Defense which were found during the various phases of trials of QR-SAM. The first issue, which is a major concerning one, was that QRSAM failed to even detect and engage helicopters hovering at low altitude and minimum range. The other issue reported by ET Defense was with mobility. The system was reported to have excess size and weight because of which it was not able to effectively move across the uneven terrain with armored column. Last one was related to the accuracy of missile. The firing success rate was reported to be unimpressive with only half of the missile hitting the designated targets. Now as per the latest update from Saurav Jha from Delhi Defense Review, in April 2023, the QR-SAM has passed the additional trials with flying colors. The detection 
of hovering helicopters was demonstrated repeatedly and near boundary intercepts were also achieved this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector